Hello! Welcome back to more Hogwarts Legacy. Um, I- last episode, from what I remember, was a fever dream. Um, I know we didn't necessarily know Lottie Dog for a long time, but I actually am a little sad that he's died. Upsetting. Um, anyways, so, we only have one other quest to do. Um, besides, like, the side quests. Part of me really, 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 really just wants to go run around and try and find the moons and stuff. How many do I have? Hold on. I have four. And I need 13. Ooh, there's a side quest over here. Hippogriff marks the spot. Girl, I might have to do that. She said Sebastian promised her that I would be there if she went to meet him in the catacomb. But now he's asking her to join him immediately and to come alone. She says he doesn't sound himself. Meet us at the catacomb as soon as you can. I hope that my quill has conveyed my message clearly. Huh? I was just trying to sell my extra stuff and I just got that dropped on me? Um... <clears throat> Do you guys see what I see? What kind of reward is that? Okay, well I feel like I have to. This one seems scary. <laughs> I'm very, 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 very nervous for this. Sebastian has gone too far. You saw what lies in the catacomb. I cannot stay here. Huh? Wait, Anne, please. Ominous. He was willing to put the whole hamlet and himself in danger on the chance that some old relic could help to heal me. I'm sorry, Ominous. Make sure he's all right, will you? I'm glad you're here. Thanks. Okay. I received your owl. Where's Sebastian? Inside the catacomb. Frankly, I was surprised you weren't with him. Ominous, I... Stop. You swore you wouldn't let Sebastian take this one step further. Uh-oh. Yet here we are. I... Uh, he won't listen to me. I did try. Whatever. He's probably not going to like this answer, but I'm going to say anyways. He won't listen to reason. I should have stopped him before. Sebastian's in real trouble now. Uh -oh. I'm going back into the catacomb to find him. Anne's right. He and the entire hamlet are in danger. The place is crawling with Inferi. Uh -oh. Inferi? What are you talking about? You'll see. We need to hurry. Oh, why am I Sebastian nervous? Sebastian must not be in his right mind. Why am I nervous if something's going to happen to Ominous? So Last it... time we were here, this place was crawling with spiders. We're about to face worse. Let's find Sebastian quickly. What do you mean worse? So am I gonna have to like redo this stuff? Oh, what is that? Oh, nothing apparently. What is the purpose? Okay, so yeah, it must not like open up any- Oops, my bad, I just fell on your head. It must not open up any other secrets, because I- was Sebastian when you and Anne found him? Just a man. In the great oh. room. <gasps> what? <sighs> are they dead? Oh. Ominous, what are you doing? No way is there one stuck up there. <sighs> Goodness gracious. Can we just move on and pretend they're not there? Or like if I back up, will they get unstuck? Oh my god, this is so unfortunate. Ominous, what are we gonna do? I think I might just try and continue on. Oh, there's spiders. Who allowed that? I, I'm just gonna get rid of the spider. I don't like spiders. Oh, there's another one. Let me just get rid of both the spiders. <laughs> Goodness gracious, stop it. Oh, slay. How am I supposed to defeat the Inferi if I literally cannot get to it? What am I supposed to do? Oh, thank God! Wee! 
I was real nervous we are about to get stuck there. Now, let's move on. Well, thankfully we already killed the spiders now. So, I'll take that as a win as well. That is an invisible wall? So I presume we just keep going this way. Or not? I had to fight spiders for a secret. A secret. Y'all. That, no. No, 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 no. I'm sorry, but that is not worth it. Okay, well, oh, we probably came from that way, and so we go this way. Urgh. Gotcha. There weren't this many in theory before. And okay. there's no sign of Sebastian. Yeah, what's going on? Okay, well, I'm just gonna... Get pow! Okay. Hold on a moment. What? What? I was so worried about Sebastian, I didn't even realize. Anne's gone to get Solomon. When she first saw the Inferi, she thought Sebastian was being attacked. But then he showed her the relic and said he'd learned how to use it. What? The carvings on the relic were Inferi, and Sebastian somehow created them. Not exactly. He's controlling them. Hold on. This is powerful dark magic. Creating Inferi is incredibly difficult, but controlling them... As Anne and I frantically barricaded the inferior to keep them from escaping, Sebastian kept mumbling about healing Anne. When Anne said she couldn't stay here, I didn't realize what she meant. Solomon threatened to go to the headmaster if he heard of Sebastian dealing with dark magic. I need to get to Hogwarts. I must get to Professor Black first. Twist the story a bit, make him think it's a family fight. Oh no. I'll be back as soon as I can. See if you can talk some sense into Sebastian. <sighs> There's no talking sense into him. Be careful. <laughs> Ominous. This is a ripoff. Why do I constantly get stuck? Basically, I am upset that I used to be like, oh, Sebastian. No. Sebastian is annoying. And he needs to get some sense knocked into him as nicely as I can. Okay, well, let's see how this goes. I'm assuming it can't be good. Yeah, hold on. Okay, so I'm stuck on the fact that Sebastian is apparently controlling these. Because, like, what did I do to him? To, like, cause him to want to do that, you know? These Inferi seem far from controlled. So does that mean something happened to him, or...? Sebastian. The Inferi. They're everywhere. Girl, I thought we already established that. Oh. oh, how did I just do that? How did I just play bowling with them? What the? <laughs> Oops. That didn't feel very great. Jeez, uh, look at all these things I just killed. That is nuts. Sebastian, if this really is you controlling these, screw you. Because, like, what did I ever do to you to deserve this? Okay, well, clearly he wasn't in this room, and that was a little unfortunate that I had to go through that. But I guess it could have been worse. <sighs> so, I presume... That means he's this way. I hope. Do I hope? I don't really know if I want to see him. That sounds mean, but like, man is going psycho. Seba Sebastian. He is here. Thank you. 
Did I do it? I think I did it. Sebastian. So these ones aren't gonna hurt me? Isn't this incredible? No, it's not. I just had to fight 40 of them. Sebastian. I told you. The relic is the answer. I've been trying to reverse the dark magic that injured Anne, but this will allow me to control it. Just as I can control the Inferi. Control? I had to fight Inferi all the way. <gasps> what have the two of you done? It wasn't me. What did you expect to happen, bro? Did you see what you just did? Fighting him. Why am I fighting him? What did I do? Bruh, I don't want to fight him. Dude, I didn't do nothing. I showed up to try and stop him. Not the person you should be fighting. Ow. What the heck is that? What is going on? What is going on? What is going on? What is that? What is that? Oh my god. Please. Holy. That dude's tough. She cannot be healed, Sebastian. Please don't kill you him. Stop. stop, Sebastian, stop. <gasps> Stop. No way. No way. Okay, her incendio is a lot cooler than mine. What is that? Sebastian, what did you do? Because now what is Anne going to do? Now, like, Sebastian can take care of her. Clearly he doesn't do well doing that. No! Heck yeah, Anne. You've made your choice. I just want to know how he really thought this was going to go. Oh, Anne. What have you done? What have you done, Sebastian? The f- what? Huh? What have you done? She depulsoed you. You just killed a man. <laughs> I must get out of here. You need to get a new brain is what you need to do. I can't let him leave. Go, run. Sprint to fly. Um, well, I followed him, so what do I do now? <laughs> what do you mean I can't let him leave? Man's is walking into walls. <laughs> Sebastian, wait! Wha- How- mm. Ow. I- I don't even know what to say. Like, part of me expected this to happen, but at the same time, I was like, hmm. No one's got plot armor in this, I'll tell you that. <laughs> Cause dang. <laughs> Stop, 
Sebastian, hold on! Man's is not listening. Girlfriend, we're close enough that you could just snag him. I ended up in front of him once already. So, I, mm, maybe you just gotta try a little harder. Look, look at that. We're literally right next to him. Just put your arm out. You got a wand. You also know magic. Just saying. Look, we're at the end. Come on, punch him. Oh, he's just gone. What is it? What do you mean, what is it? Do, do you remember what you just did back there? Why wouldn't you stop? I was calling after you. Anne won't survive this. She's withering away, inside and out. Solomon's never been there for us. Not really. Well, he can't be there he for you at all. On her. Oh. I'll never give up on her. You saw him, didn't you? He was going to ruin her life. He attacked us. I... I had to use the killing curse. You know I did. If I hadn't known how to cast it... What? I don't know what to do. Okay, I'm not gonna lie. Part of me wants to just learn it so then I can unlock all of them. And I, from what I've gathered so far, there is literally no bad thing that happens to you if you learn any of the unforgivable curses. Like, I've used them, nothing happened. I used a jerk with that fight and that man didn't say a word. Eh, I mean, okay. Thinking of it in a different perspective here. The way Sebastian's thinking about it, wrong. But there probably is a good instance where, like, you're literally, there's a big bad man, right? Or I don't know, something coming to attack you, right? That's the only way out of it. We're gonna, I'm gonna say that. I'm sticking with my story. He did attack us. You had no choice. It was brave, Sebastian. You clearly care more about Anne than your uncle ever did. Ew, wait, I, I didn't like that answer. I did do the right thing. No. You did. I would have done the same if I knew how. I no, I wouldn't. Could teach you. I am. Um, mm, listen, y'all. I'm just doing this to learn it. No time like the present. The this is so weird. Won't be easy to master. As with all unforgivables, you have to mean it. Well, clearly you meant it. Hold your wand steady. Focus. The incantation is Avada Kedavra. Your intention must be clear. <laughs> well, now I think I have unlocked every single spell, so that's exciting. I wish it was done in a different way. I can't stay here. I need to find Ominous. Sebastian. Please, I'm not myself right now. Clearly. Let's meet later at the Undercroft, all right? <laughs> what? Um, I you. I'm a tad bit baffled. I feel like I shouldn't be, but I am. So we're gonna move on to lighter matters. Um, <laughs> I noticed some side quests earlier, so I'm gonna have at it. Oh, there's a flu flame over here. I don't have. Wow. Okay, there is a side quest here. A side quest over here. Um, this one, we need to go to this flu flame anyways, so. I think we might start with that one. Plus, um, hello? It says the hippogriff stuff. So, I don't, mm, I just, I like hippogriffs. I'm gonna be real, so. <laughs> okay. Ma oh, no. Man, I did not expect this to be like a thing. The location marked on the map isn't far from here. So you're gonna tell me where it is, please? Where is it? No, but uh, uh, I don't know where to go. Is it this? Like, is this the castle that was in it? But I don't know. I'm not good at this stuff. Oops. Oh, clearly I'm not good at it. Okay, I'm gonna be completely- Oops. I'm gonna be completely real with y'all. I googled where it is. And I don't actually have that section of the map unlocked. <laughs> so... I'm... Gonna go and do the other side quest that was kinda similar close. This one. And we're also gonna do... And we're gonna unlock this. 
Okay, well, we're going to take a break from that other one, because I don't really know where to go for it, and we're going to talk to this lady. She has another side quest for us. Hello. Pardon? Were you calling to me? I was. I'm Marianne Moffat. Pleasure. At the moment, I'm having a great deal of trouble trying to find a particular Derricle. Oh? Ah, uh, yes. The magical bird can disappear when it senses danger. Peculiar things, aren't they? Did you know that muggles call them dodos? <laughs> Such a funny name. Yep. I'm worried about a large albino derricle known as Gwenaira. She's a local legend, so of course poachers are after her. Uh-oh. If I had her, I'd treat her like a queen. And I could use her molted feathers as fashion accessories. Oh, okay. Seems you're more concerned with the feathers than the bird. <laughs> she'd be safer with you than with poachers. Indeed. They'd pluck her feathers and likely kill her when they were through. I can't seem to rescue her, and I'm worried the Derricals don't trust me since I've been hanging about their den. Probably. They're probably like, who the heck are you? Why are you fixated on Gwenaira and not rescuing all the Derricals? Gwenaira is special. She's more attractive to poachers with her lovely plumage. They'll try harder to take her. The other Derricals seem to have managed evading poachers quite well on their own. Hey. Can you tell me what the Derricol den looks like? It's down by the shore, on a sort of overhanging cliff. You'll recognize it by all of the Derricols lolling about. Okay. I'll keep an eye out for a large white Derricol. Oh, thank you. Those gorgeous feathers. And she'd be safe. One last thing. She seems to spend her days in hiding. I've only ever seen her at night. Okay. I do hope you're able to save her. So, do it at night. That's what Be I'm hearing. Be prepared to chase her. I sometimes wonder if she actually enjoys the pursuit. Probably. <laughs> I suppose I should watch for Gwenaira. At night, apparently. Oh! <gasps> Mind now, demiguys. Guys! I found a demiguys. Oh, a note. My dearest Ada? I pine for you, my love. Each day we spend apart, where is it my soul? We must find a way to meet soon. If we were to operate to each other, where could we meet? I know that I am not welcome at your family's home in Marnwee. I have been speaking with the Craig Cro Cragcroft locals lately about the increased goblin presence here by the shore. They say Ranrock's loyalists may be seeking remnants of work left behind a legendary wizard who lived here long ago, a man from the east like me. This intrigued me. Apparently, he had some secret work in a nearby mountain. It sounds as though this could be a perfect meeting space for us. Seems like a bad idea. I have an idea. This Thursday evening at dusk, will you operate to the western side of the mountain? Aim for one of the vaults that locals use to store the valuables. We should be safe from prying eyes there. It feels like only yesterday that we finished Hogwarts together, two children with stars in their eyes and love in their hearts. Promise me that we will rediscover those stars in our eyes and forever protect that love in our hearts. My love always, Tarek. Okay. Oh, is this the second one? Aha. Uh -huh. My dearest Ada... First, I must know, are you alright? What a disaster our rendezvous was. I'm truly sorry for all this. It was wonderful to see you in person after all this time. I just cannot believe how quickly those foul goblin loyalists became aware of our presence and set upon us. They seem to possess some kind of dark magic that I do not understand. It is a relief that you were able to disapparate quickly. I stayed and dealt with as many as I could, but left soon after. Why have these goblins taken over the area? What is it they are looking for? I know one thing. Soon, no one will be safe here. My love, we spoke briefly of eloping. Have you given any more thought to it? It seems as if the time for such drastic action may be approaching. We must go somewhere new so that we might start fresh. I have heard of a small magical communities in Norway, some in Spain as well. I care not where we go as long as I am with you. Send your response with the fastest owl. I must know that you are all right and must know where you whether you are ready and truly willing to elope. Hmm... A young woman's diary entry. February 1890. We have made our decision. We will be eloping this coming Monday. I have been in contact with the kindly old witch in Oslo who agreed to give Tarek an apprenticeship. She'll be grateful for my knowledge of Wan Woods as well. We will be able to start anew. I shall miss my family, but my leaving is their fault, not mine. They refused to accept Tarek for his background, and therefore they refused me. I shall leave a note. They can know that I have left and that I am happy elsewhere within love of my life. The steerings of goblin loyalists, not to mention poachers and ashwinders, have made this place unsafe. I hope my family leaves eventually as well. Either way, I, we, Tarek, and I will finally be far away. 
I have not told Tarek yet, but I am with child. Oh, <laughs> I will wait until we are safe, then tell him the happy news. I cannot dare believe it. I will soon have a daughter or son of my own, a baby to raise with Tarek, safe in a new home. Perhaps one day, when they are of age, they will attend Hogwarts and bring our little family full circle. I am hopeful. The next journal entry I write will likely be from Norway. Goodbye, Marin Weem. You will be in my heart. Oh, Well, I wonder if everything worked out. These, like, little bits of story always really intrigue me. Hi, cat. Okay. Let's try and go find this little animal for her. Oh, hello. Any luck finding Gwenaira? Not yet, but I'm on the way. This must be the Diracool den that Miss Moffat told me about. Now, where is Gwenaira? Um, I don't know. Is this her? Yep. Oh my god, where'd she go? Hold on, I probably should make sure I have this in my thing. Oh, 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 oh. Did I do it? Oh my god, I did it. Y'all, that was so easy. I'm not going to hurt you. Oh. I think I grabbed the wrong one. <laughs> Aha! Now I think I got her. Haha! <laughs> okay, well, I got one for myself too. I got her. Hello. Oh, hello. Uh, Miss Moffat, I called Quinaira. That's incredible. Was it terribly difficult? No. <laughs> Not too bad, if you know what you're doing. Don't be so humble about it. Well, I mean... May I have her now? Mm, no. No, it's fine. You can have her. Of course. Oh, you're too kind. Can you just be nice she to her? She has such exquisite plumage. Oh, I shall make the finest attire from her feathers. And she'll have a good life too, of course. Oh. I'm weirded out. <laughs> Thank you so much for bringing me Gwynlaida. I shall keep her safe and only use her feathers sparingly. Okay. Oh, oh leveled up. Well. Ah. Uh -huh. That was funky. I don't know. <laughs> Honestly, this is going to be a shorter episode than usual, but we're... <laughs> I don't even know how to process what has happened these last few episodes. Like, I swear every single episode now, someone dies. I'm not... <sighs> the more I've thought about it, I'm not technically shocked that Sebastian did that. Just because I feel like if he was going to do it to anyone, it would have been Solomon, you know? But at the same time, I wasn't expecting it to be already. Or, like, in that way. But... I don't know. I don't know. Um, yeah, we're just going to leave it there. We're going to pick up next episode. I'm going to try and continue doing some of like the little side quest things just so we can finish as much of this game as possible before we get too close to the end and we're on crunch time. Um, if anyone does know like roughly how much is left of this game, please let me know. I'm sure I could look it up, but if any of you have played it and you know, go ahead and let me know. I just would like to be aware of how much time I have left to finish things, you know? Like, how far I should really go in the quest before I'm like, uh-oh. But anyways, yeah, that's that. So, hopefully you guys enjoyed, and like I said, any tips, go ahead and leave them down below. I love reading them. They're very helpful. But yeah, we'll leave it here. I will see you all next week for more Hogwarts Legacy. Bye!